Bucko's Bounties. Yo, Bucko, it's Zero. Come back to you with another figure of you. And in this one, we have the Star Wars Black Series Bad Batch Hunter. Now, Hunter is the leader of the Bad Batch, and he's the Rambo looking one. He looks pretty badass. Now, yeah, he is the leader of Clone Force 99, and he's pretty sick. He's looking like Rambo. Um, he's not my favorite of the Bad Batch. I do think that Tech is actually my favorite of the Bad Batch, but yeah. This guy is looking really sick in the packaging. He's a really interesting mix between a clone commando and I don't know. It's a really like unique clone commando thing. I kind of wish they just gave him the clone commando helmet, but they gave him a really weird helmet. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it, but his face sculpt looks awesome. So anyways, let's go ahead and check out this packaging. So yeah, you got your really nice red for the Bad Batch. It's like a red, darker red. That's really cool. Yeah, just so you can get a better idea of like the different shades of red. From the box, you just got Hunter here. Side of the box, he is number one of the Bad Batch, Hunter. Yeah, this is the, what the three look like lined up so far, looking pretty sick. Then in the back of the box, you got Hunter. The Bad Batch, technically known as Clone Force 99, is the result of Kaminoan experiments to create a special unit of clone commandos. Hunter, their leader, is a strong and stoic soldier with extraordinarily keen senses to give him an edge when tracking down his targets. He's really cool. I'm, I, I don't know, the helmet here looks a lot better than it does here. I don't know. I, I'm not really sure, but he is number one. Star Wars Bad Batch. S portrait again looking really nice side of the box you got your red stripe bam top of the box your vent bottom of the box unreadables and we're gonna get clone rambo out of the packaging and here's rambo i mean uh hunter out of the packaging he's looking super nice let's go ahead and get into the accessories real quick before i dive into this figure the first accessory he comes with is his backpack it's kind of looking like a clone commando backpack this thing is actually really cool i really like this now that goes ahead and just plugs, bam, right back there. Go ahead, plug that there, boom. That's fitting really nice, and that's a nice uh, snug, clean fit. I kind of wish he had storage on his backpack for, like it almost looks like you could move this for storage purposes. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but... Yeah, I kind of wish he had some more storage because some of the he comes with a few accessories which you can't put anywhere and it kind of annoys me. But yeah, I'll get into that in a second. The cooler, one of the cooler accessories that he comes with, probably if not the coolest, it's his vibro blade, and this thing looks so freaking dope. Yeah, that looks so freaking cool. I'm really digging this. Like, I I really like the kind of like tech looking pattern going on there. And yeah, he's gonna be able to hold that really freaking well but yeah that also goes ahead and just slots right into you can put that right into here bam that slots in perfectly and it kind of snaps in really nicely does it go the other way yeah you definitely want to put yeah you definitely want to put it in this way but yeah that goes in there fits it's, it's a really clean fit on there and that's awesome I love accessory storage which the next two accessories are lacking in accessory storage, unfortunately, which sucks because I'm not really sure which weapon he uses more. I think in the series he uses the blaster pistol more, but yeah, your typical clone blaster. Um, this thing is really nice. It's just in that kind of like flat, black, grayish gunmetal color. It's really good. Yeah, I think this is the blaster he ends up using more. Um, which I'm kind of torn about it because for the one hand I want to have him with this blaster because I like this thing the blaster and the knife in hand but the other hand I'm really digging this next accessory and this is a kind of clone commando blaster and I love this thing so yeah this is a DC-17M I'm glad we're finally getting one of these so we gotta have clone commandos right around the corner this is one of the coolest blasters 
that any of the clones are using this is freaking awesome. I love this. I'm glad they gave him this. You can definitely tell he's supposed to be a clone commando, and this is really cool. It, it's gonna. I don't know. See, this is why I'm torn because you don't. I don't really think you get to see him use this much. I really, just think you get to see him use um, the blaster pit, the DC-17 blaster pistol, a lot. But look, look how good that looks on him. Like, jeez. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm torn. I'm torn on that, but yeah, that looks really good. I kind of wish that there was a place to store this, or at least the pistol. So, kind of torn on that, but he's looking really freaking good. Then his last accessory is his helmet, and uh, this helmet is really cool. Uh, my only problem with it is, I don't know if it's just squished or something, but it's kind of like too cartoony. I kind of wish they just used the clone commando mold or made one and then kind of just edited that because it, but yeah, it looks okay. I don't know. Something's just wrong with it. I'm not really sure. It's just a little iffy for me, but go ahead and plop that on here. It has really nice details. You plop that on there and that's looking really freaking good. Look how good that looks. That's awesome, dude. It really completes his look. I don't know. I don't know. It's just a little. It, the the helmet is a little iffy for me. I'm not sure, but it's not the worst thing ever. Yeah, he's looking really good completed here. Go ahead and dive into this figure. So yeah, taking a little closer look at the helmet. Helmet's looking really nice. Got the white paint kind of skull looking thing on the side here. The other side you got, you know, just <laughs> flat gray. Yeah, but then you got the red paint really nice you got a little few little kind of scratches throughout the helmet symbolizing like the battle damage so that's really cool pop this off here and you get his rambo hair with this rambo headband that's freaking awesome and his face is looking super good actually i'm really loving the details on this head because not only do you have that sick face paint but you also have a little little tiny little skull on his bandana that's so freaking cool but yeah you got kind of like mud paint that's really dope going down to your little neck thing and then you got the clone force 99 on each shoulder and then you have another skull here that's really good and I want to say that the shoulder, this shoulder pad is a little bigger than this one. I don't know if it's just mine or if that's how it is, but or if it's just how it's laid on. But yeah, whatever. Um, that's not too bad. The red paint. There's a lot of scratches throughout the body to symbolize more battle damage. That's really cool. And this side, um, they have the game, same gauntlets on both sides, but this side has the knife and the wrist comb. So the knife pulls out of here. Again, super awesome. I love that. I love that a lot. Yeah, and then pretty plain for the hands, and then uh, for your tor for your chest piece. Really nice here. You got the red line. It's kind of just flat gray here. Then the darker gray leads into the kind of like undersuit armor. That's looking really good. Again, a few scratches throughout, giving him a more worn and weathered look. Like he has a nice paint, but he, you could tell he's still battle damage. I love that. It's like I'm clean, but I'm messy. And he finally got some battle damage weathering here, a little silver showing through, finally. A little more here, so that's cool. Um, and then I should take a look at the back, take off the backpack, I forgot to show the back. It's pretty plain on the back here, not too much. There is some scratches still going on throughout for the molding, very nice still. That's how he looks with the backpack on, very cool. Butt plate, <laughs> then you have your undersuit, and he, again, uh, getting to the knee pads, these are rubbery, so they're not going to hinder articulation at all. Getting down to the boots, uh, the red stripe goes all the way down, and the boots here, and it's kind of like flat gray going to the darker gray, and that's really dope. It's looking really good, and now we're going to go ahead and get into the articulation. So yeah, his neck moves, and it goes up to a ball joint, and so he actually gets really good range move. Holy crap, so looks down that far up that far and then let's we'll put the helmet on just to show you how much you can hinder yeah looks down that far up 
that far. Not bad. Actually, not bad with the helmet. Take that back off. Then you got hinge swivel at the shoulders. I'm pretty sure you do have a butterfly joint in there. And then the shoulder piece is going to move uh, with it separately. So that's really nice. And it's rubbery, so it gets out of the way. So yeah, you do have your butterfly joint, your hinge swivel. Bam, bam. And then that moves separately, of course, like I just said. Single jointed elbow. Not a hinge swivel. Very nice. No gauntlet swivels, unfortunately. And you got a hinge swivel at the wrist, and this one goes up and down for aiming purposes. This one goes left and right for gripping purposes. You got a ball joint at the torso. Legs go forward and that far, back that, and out to the side that far. Ooh. And I already, I didn't even push it that hard, and I already kind of messed that up a tad bit. So be careful, don't push too hard. That's really weird that it did that. Ah, rest in peace. More battle damage, I guess. <laughs> and these are rubbery so they get out of the way, but you have a hinge and swivel at the knee. Bam, bam, bam. And you got thigh swivels. And does this move separately? Is that what that is? I'm really confused. Yeah, no, it's just the thigh swivel at it's actually in a perfect spot, so you actually can't tell it's there. It's right underneath the armor, so that's really freaking cool. Then you have a no boot swivel, unfortunately. I feel like they could have gotten away with boot swivel. Then you have a hinge at the ankle. A forward facing pin for rockers. Now let's go ahead and get clone Rambo onto the battlefield. Now we're going to show them off next to some other figures. So just for starters, here he is next to Clone Commander Wolf for your commander molds and the new the new clone trooper mold, the Kamino clone. And here he is next to Clone Commander Obi-Wan and Tarkin. And here he's next to a Stormtrooper and a Clanker. And as always, here he is next to Luke Skywalker Squawker and Old Left Limbs. So I'm actually not going to lie, I actually really wasn't sure about this figure at first. Um, when I first saw him, but now having him in hand, all my doubts are gone. He is an amazing looking figure. He looks really good. I'm still a little iffy on the helmet, but the rest of the figure is amazing. Now, it would be nice if he did have weapon storage. That's my biggest gripe with this, besides the helmet. Like, the helmet, yeah, it's, it's good, but... Yeah, this is an awesome figure. Definitely don't skip out on this guy because, I mean, you need if you need him for your bad. Anyways, you can bring him in warm or you can bring him in cold. Thanks for watching and good hunting.